Alright, Jones, how are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? Hey everyone, it's Alex from Jack of the Games here, and I'm gonna be playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. This game was made by LucasArts in 1992, and as you can see, it's a point and click. It's some kind of funeral urn. And that is some kind of funeral urn. It's a stone carving of Shiva. So as Indy said, I guess we're looking for a statue for Marcus. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. And that apparently is not the statue we're looking for. It's a genuine candlestick. That doesn't really look like a candlestick either. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Poor Marcus. Oh, well, I guess we have to. <laughs> Oof. You know, he loves his work, but he definitely suffers for it. Hopefully this time he doesn't have to break his back, because there's rope there. Oh, yeah. I've also played this game before, um, when I was a toddler, so I may remember some things and not others. The label says, Unidentified Potsherds. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. I'm trying to think what potsherds are. I'm, they may be potsherds? Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Or something from the Potlatch Indians? Looks like textiles from the Shamut Collection. Shamut Collection Arrowhead. It's from the Shamut Collection. Very sharp. Apparently too sharp to pick up. Looks dangerous. Alright, let's do it. No, oh, Indy. I just want to play this game for fun, and I'm only hurting them. I think I've read them all. Wait, what? Where did I come in through? I came in in a temple, and now I'm in... Uh... Now I'm in... A library? I don't need them. They're just textbooks. It's an old lecture hall desk. Lecture hall. Textbooks, lecture hall. Alright, I'm in a lecture hall. There's nothing of importance here. There's nothing of importance here. What's the exit over there? Books and statues. These books don't look familiar. It's a trap! Uh oh. <clears throat> like I said, he just keeps hurting himself. Come on, Indy, get up. We got a statue to look for. On another note, the background is gorgeous, the whole scene. What they did with. You better get that roof checked. Thank you, thank you, Indy. What they did with pixels are just fantastic. I mean, everything's made of pixels nowadays, but they had far fewer to work with. It's a book ready to fall. Hmm. It's a book ready to fall. I'll be back. Book. Cat figurine. One of Tutankhamun's mm -hmm. pets. Oh. Jeez. No. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's hot. Thank you, Captain. One locker. Two locker. Three locker. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Horn statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Wait, what? I broke into Marcus's... If he is asking me to get the statue, why am I breaking into his lecture hall thing? Why can't I just walk in and take it, rather than breaking <laughs> breaking the glass on his temple-like roof and then falling through multiple of his floors? I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. The Johnson. Germans! Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smeary. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. That's a euphemism. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. Get him, Indy. What is this? Out of boy. Or you can get his jacket. That works too. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus mm. Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. A golden slipper! An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. Looking dapper, Indy. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. She was one frigid bird. Next episode, we find Sophia Hapgood and maybe the pesky Germans. <laughs>